Kicking off the list at number 10, Fangirl. During the course of Justin Bieber's on again, off again relationship with Selena Gomez, which lasted from 2011 until 2015, then again from 2017 to 2018, fans have accused Hailey Bieber, then Baldwin, of stalking Justin Bieber. But I really don't think that's the case. The model is well documented to have been a fan of Justin way before they began dating. Not only that, but Hailey was also a clear fan of Selena as well. A resurfaced photo from way back in the day shows Hailey posing with a magazine that shows her now husband on the cover with his then girlfriend, Selena. Very clearly supporting the couple. But if you need further proof of her fan status, then we can go back in time to look at some tweets posted by Hailey. Back in 2011, Hailey showed her support for the couple when she tweeted, I am for sure 100% team Jelena. She has also tweeted Selena centric comments as well. She has tweeted, happy birthday pretty, tagging Selena herself for her birthday. And then three months later, she tweeted, Selena Gomez is so cute, don't argue, bye, which was followed the next month with, I don't care what anyone says, but Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez together is the definition of a teenage dream. Hashtag word. There were even more tweets in 2012, kicking off in January, responding to someone else's tweet saying, seriously though, she is beyond flawless and he's, you know, he's Bieber. They are the perfect relationship. Later that same month, she posted, Selena Gomez is so freaking good looking. And then a month later, we got, I gotta say, I was really looking forward to seeing what color coordination Jelena was gonna be doing for this year's VF party. Hashtag Sai, hashtag oh well. And then in May, she also tweeted, Selena Gomez looks hot in her new music video. It's only really a secret though, because Haley has since deleted this Twitter account amid people calling her out for said tweets, as if it's some kind of bad thing to support celebrities that you like and even somewhat know. But coming in at number nine, racism. While those tweets are arguably wholesome and unproblematic, unless you're a fan of stirring the Haley Selena drama pot, some of Haley Bieber's past tweets are a little bit more actually problematic. In fact, they show a great degree of ignorance and racism from the young Bieber. Her age, I think, is important to note, as while these tweets aren't exactly excusable, the tweets seem to be around the 2011 to 2013 years, making Haley roughly 14, 15, 16, and or 17 at the time. But with that being said, the tweets are pretty bad. TikTok account The Essence of It posted a collection of Bieber's posts, and I don't even really need to explain the problem with them once you hear them for yourself. These tweets include statements like, quote, shut up before I smack you back to your own country, or one that went, quote, to those foreigners who don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so sorry your country didn't have pilgrims and Indians to start such a sick holiday. That one's pretty bad, but a post from 2011 read, with Cody Simpson and that awkward moment when you're at a Chinese restaurant and your waiter isn't Chinese. The one most people are familiar with though, reads, leaving to Florida, white, but coming back to New York, a different race, which was accompanied by an emoji of a white blonde man man and an emoji of a darker skinned man wearing a turban. She even went so far as to tweet racist slurs at which point, which the TikToker blurred out on her screen. So yeah, like I said, it isn't really excusable. Given the white, rich, and privileged background of the celebrity though, it isn't exactly surprising, as depressing as that is. Fortunately, I believe that as she grew up, she did learn the error of her ways. Number 8, Mean Girl. While she may have learned the error of her racist remarks, Hailey Bieber has defended herself against other problematic behavior too, even after she had been called out for her tweets. Specifically, there are numerous occasions where Bieber has been referred to as a mean girl. This has come up in multiple different ways. For starters, there was a TikTok user who spoke about how in high school, Hailey had been her bully for a year. But then more recently, we have the whole drama with Selena Gomez, where Gomez fans have made Hailey out to be a really hateful person. While it's up to your interpretation of her behaviors, some of the allegations of bullying against Hailey include her alleged and indirectly making fun of Selena when she was being body shamed, making fun of Selena's eyebrows, and there was also a resurfaced clip of Haley overdramatically gagging at the mention of Taylor Swift's name. During a September 2022 interview on the Call Her Daddy podcast, Haley spoke on the hate that she has received over the years. She said, quote, people really want to paint this picture of me like I was this mean girl who is a bully who hates every other woman, and like I don't support other women, which is funny because I think anyone who knows me personally knows that that's so not me at all. Haley continued on on the podcast blaming social media for the representation of her as a mean girl, but it doesn't change the fact. Number seven, rude to waitstaff. On the topic of mean girl behavior,
behavior, apparently Haley is also mean to people working in the service industry. In a series of viral TikTok videos posted by New York City hostess Julia Carolyn, in July 2020, she rated celebrities that she encountered over the years while working in A-list favorite eateries. Describing her meetings with Haley, Carolyn admitted that she hasn't yet had a positive experience. She said, quote, this is going to be controversial. I've met her a handful of times and every time she was not nice. I really want to like her, but I have to give her a 3.5 out of 10. Sorry. The TikTok became viral in no time, raking up over 3.3 million likes and even got a comment from Bieber herself. The model wrote, just came across this video and wanted to say sorry if I've ever given you bad vibes or bad attitude. That's not ever my intention. Carolyn accepted the apology, calling her an accountability queen, but this apparently affected Haley. In April 2021, almost a year after the video was posted, the model shared a two-part interview with Dr. Jess Clemens on her YouTube channel, titled Cancel Culture, Mental Health, and Social Media. The video touched on the viral TikTok. Bieber said, when I saw her video, I was so upset. There's never an excuse for being rude. I felt bad that that was her experience with me, but it made me kind of frustrated because you never know what someone's going through. I remember going through times in my life where I was so sad and so heartbroken that engaging with people felt hard for me. She continued, I wish I didn't act that way towards her. I'm a human and I made a mistake and I acted a way that was out of character for me. Ending her answer with, I'm open to people correcting me. However, the 24 year old argued that she doesn't believe there needs to be people on social media doing the correcting. Assuming that she's talking about commenters and the Justin Haley haters. Number six, marriage counseling. Now moving away from bullying and tweets, shortly after they tied the knot, Haley and Justin Bieber did an interview with Vogue in February 2019, in which the celebrity couple mentioned that the two have met a marriage counselor. Haley told the interviewer, quote, the thing is, marriage is very hard. That is the sentence you should leave with. It's really effing hard. In a later April interview with GQ, Justin said that specifically the first year of marriage in particular was a challenge. In that interview, he said, quote, the first year of marriage was really tough because there was a lot going back to the trauma stuff. There was just a lack of trust. There was all these things that you just don't want to admit to the person that you're with because it's scary. You don't want to scare them off by saying, I'm scared. Honestly, I find that to be kind of a really mature thing to hear from Bieber. The beginning year of the pair's marriage had seen multiple different sources looking in from the outside and making assumptions about the marriage and its success, which I can only imagine makes it even harder. Marriages are hard enough in regular life, so adding the pressures of celebrity life must be an even greater challenge. Number five, celibacy. But they seem to be pretty open about the struggles of their young marriage, including the little tidbit that the two waited for marriage to finally um do the dirty, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. Justin called Haley his reward for being celibate for over a year. In the same 2019 interview with Vogue from February, from the last point we just talked about, Justin said that he had, quote, a legitimate problem with and was more than a year into a time of self-imposed celibacy when he started rekindling his romance with Haley. He continued on saying, quote, I think can cause a lot of pain. Sometimes people have it because they don't feel good enough, because they lack self-worth. Women do that and guys do that. I wanted to rededicate myself to God in that way because I really felt it was better for the condition of my soul. He then added, quote, and I believe that God blessed me with Haley as a result. There are perks. You get rewarded for good behavior. But the celibacy seems to also be connected to Justin's commitment issues. During an interview on The Ellen Show in January 2020, Justin said that he had a difficult time with the idea of commitment commitment, which made him extremely nervous before proposing. He said, quote, I felt like in the past we had talked about me asking the question and I felt like she would say yes. He continued on asking himself, quote, am I able to make this commitment as a man and be able to honor what I say? Because that's a serious commitment when you say you're going to love someone for better or for worse and be faithful. That's huge. Am I able to do that? He said he finally decided that he was going to make the decision and follow through with it because he's always wanted to be a husband. And I hope it's also because he loves Haley, but yeah. number four, tattoos. Switching the subject completely, while tattoos are rarely secrets, Haley has quite a few more than you'd think, and they're all pretty small, which means they can totally fly under the radar. And a few have actually been misread as something they're not. So let's go through some of them. In January 2015, Haley visited tattoo artist John Boy for the first time to get her parents' wedding anniversary inked in Roman numerals. VI X XC. This tattoo is on her wrist. And it seems that John Boy became 
Haley's preferred tattoo artist, as he has worked with Haley a few times since then. John Boy added, and I may get this pronunciation wrong, Minas Gerias to Haley's left outer ankle. For this one, it looks like it could be a quote tattoo, but this is actually a large inland state in southeastern Brazil. And since Haley's mom is Brazilian, I believe it may have something to do with that, but no confirmation on that one. Haley also has a small cursive G behind her ear. Now, some have accused the star of copying this tattoo from Selena Gomez because they hate Haley. But while Selena's tattoo is dedicated to her little sister Gracie, who is 20 years younger than her, Haley has stated many times that the initial on her is a tribute to Georgia Veach, the daughter of Pastor Veach, who was diagnosed with a rare, incurable brain disorder in 2012. The tattoo is a popular one amongst other celebrities too, including Justin and Ashley Benson. Haley also added the letter K and numbers 330 to her hands. Now, the K is still a mystery. Maybe it's for her mom, Kenya, but John Boy wrote on Instagram that 330 is a reference to John 330 from the Bible. Haley kicked off 2017 with a back tattoo of the phrase, and I will get this wrong as well, Coeur d'Aline, which directly translates to Heart of Aileen in French. So who is Aileen? Apparently, Aileen is reportedly Haley's sister, Aaliyah's middle name. So maybe that's what the tattoo refers to. Also, just a month before her wedding, Haley went to see LA tattoo artist Dr. Wu to get several abstract and design heavy tattoos on her hands and fingers. The new tattoo additions came as a bit of a surprise though, considering Haley has said several times that she's trying to save some real estate space for tattoos dedicated to her future children. Hmm. Number three, health concerns. During an interview with Elle in March 2020, Haley talked about how Justin's Lyme disease complications made things hard for the two of them when they were first together. She said, quote, it was hard because everybody from the outside was being super mean and judgmental, saying he looked like he was on drugs, saying how unhealthy he looked, when in truth, he was not healthy and we didn't know why. She said that Justin is healthy now, but they were forced to deal with the in sickness and in health part of their wedding vows right away. She said, quote, we went straight into figuring out the hard stuff, because you never know what can happen with someone's health. When you don't know what's happening, it's really scary, and then you have the opinions of everybody from the outside, and it just sucks. Over the next months, both Haley and Justin have had health complications each. Things like a blood clot to the brain and a Ramsey Hunt syndrome diagnosis, respectively. But Haley told Harper's Bazaar that it's an example of how they take things day by day in their relationship. Number two, kids. Although they had only been married since 2018, during a March 2020 appearance on The Ellen Show, Justin played the game Burning Questions and was asked how many kids he wants to have with Haley. He responded, I think it's up to Haley because it's her body. Later, during a December 2020 appearance on the show, he followed that up by saying, I am going to have as many as Haley is wishing to put out. It's her body and whatever she wants to do with it. He also added that Haley still has some things she wants to accomplish as a woman, so she's not ready to have kids just yet. But apparently, he's okay with that, so I guess that's cool. And finally, in at number one, pregnancy rumors. Very recently, Haley Beaver responded to rumors that she's pregnant with her first child with Justin. This came after Justin and Haley took a trip to the Bahamas, and people made the assumption that the vacation was all to celebrate that Haley was now carrying a little tiny human inside of her. But Haley has shut these rumors down. Doesn't mean it isn't true, but in an Instagram DM, the 26 year old star reacted to a TikToker who made the claim. She said, Very much not pregnant, LMAO. The truth of the matter, though, is that it's really none of our business, as with almost everything else we have talked about today. Starting off, our list at number 10 today, we have Selena Gomez. As Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez faded out of their relationship in the months to follow, Bieber started dating Haley Baldwin, proposed to her, and married her in a New York courthouse. However, when news started to break that Selena Gomez was hospitalized, Justin would be photographed looking distraught in public twice. US Weekly then reported that Justin didn't feel whole after marrying Haley and that he still loved Selena a lot, but as a friend and was praying for her. But then people would bring things a little step further after they reported that a Miami music source told the outlet that Justin was not even fully over his year long on and off romance with Selena Gomez when they said this was his first great love and while he was young and traveling around the world as a superstar he has learned a great deal from her. The source would then also go on to say that Justin at the moment is also believing he made a mistake with his recent marriage and he was extremely upset over what happened to Selena 
Selena as he felt like she was a part of his life and wants her to be healthy and happy. Coming in number nine, we have mental health. Back in 2022, Justin would open up to US Weekly in an interview where he would discuss the challenges of his marriage. With the first year of the couple's marriage being really tough to get through because of trauma in the past, there was just a lack of trust. During Justin's insight into emotions, he felt after marrying his wife, he would reveal that he experienced an emotional breakdown after he realized that the marriage wouldn't fix all of his problems. When he said, it's a journey. I remember when I first got married, I hit a little bit of an emotional breakdown because I thought marriage was going to fix all of my problems and it didn't. It just kind of was a reflection of like, man, you're a bit of a hypocrite. You want your wife to do something that you're not going to do and it's like, it's hard sometimes to look in the mirror and really have to realize, man, maybe you're not the person you necessarily thought you are. The results of trauma and life circumstances, however, it just seems like Haley may have turned sour while she was helping Justin through his ups and downs as the whole world was looking in and judging Justin and it would cause Haley to reach her near breaking point in the process. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Number eight, married too young. Since Haley and Justin got married, headlines have been filled with rumors that the couple may be heading towards a divorce sometime soon due to their age and Justin's mental health. While Justin and Haley have been together for four years, the couple still continues to paint a picture that they're this really happy couple together. However, this hasn't stopped some outlets and sources from claiming that their marriage won't last. Gossip Cop has even gone on to list several reasons why many believe that Haley and Justin are headed towards a divorce and the main reason is because of their age. According to many people who doubt the couple's love, it's because they're still very young. Justin was only 24 at the time when he married Haley, who was 22. And many have been betting on their relationship to end due to their age. Because many people still believe this age is far too young to be married, and others have claimed that the couple is still immature. Not to mention, several sources have also felt like Justin and Haley's engagement and wedding were impulsive acts, as Justin had just gotten out of an on and off again relationship with Selena Gomez, and he was in this pretty vulnerable position. Number seven, constant disagreements. Just shortly after the two announced their engagement, the paparazzi would capture the two in an argument on two separate occasions throughout the same day that left them in tears. TMZ would then catch up with Justin to make a comment, and he would acknowledge that the two were experiencing hard times. He would then proceed to hold up a copy of Timothy Keller's book titled The Meaning of Marriage and declare, you got good days, you got bad days, and it's not real if it doesn't have any bad days. However, if you have to read a book on marriage, it's clear that you aren't exactly ready for, you know, marriage. Fights between the two have since gotten worse since they got married, as they even had to make and follow strict rules for when they do fight so they don't poke at the past, and they even had to attend therapy in order to get tips and advice on how to deal with conflict in their marriage. Coming to number six, we have rude behavior. Let's get straight to the point. No one likes a mean girl. And Haley has recently been hitting headlines for not only being rude to a waitress while at a restaurant, but beauty blogger Iris Bullen called out Haley after her road products, called out Haley after her road event displayed some pretty rude behavior. In a video posted to Iris's account, the social media star explained that while she usually doesn't attend all events she's invited to, she took a chance on Road Skin's launch party because she genuinely was excited. Unfortunately, it probably would have been better for her to stay home as it appears that the event was just a total waste of time for her. Iris would share in the video that while the atmosphere at the event was just as fun as you would expect, the only things wrong with this event was that Haley had some pretty odd behavior. Iris would then say, but the girl gets there with her friends Kylie Kendall. All of her friends are there. But they have this corner that they could only be in. While attendees gave Haley her space, Haley didn't even interact with any guests and the only one who actually stood up to say anything about the brand was Kylie who congratulated Haley on her new brand. And Haley just stayed in her corner and gave everybody RBF face. Number five, fan. So it's no lie that Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber looked literally incredible at the 2021 Met Gala. However, it seems like Justin fans just can't accept the fact that he is with anyone other than Selena Gomez, as they have been bombarded by several fans chanting Selena all on the red carpet. While many people pointed out that the fans' behavior was completely disrespectful, this has sadly been something Justin and Haley have had to deal with since they first got together. Justin has even responded to fans who are still 
hung up on him in Selena in the past as back in 2020 he said the sad excuse of a human just encouraged people on video to literally go after my wife telling people to say that my previous relationship was better so on and forth I just wanted to share this so that the people get an idea of what we face on a day to day it is extremely hard to choose the high road when I see people like this rally to gather people to bully the person I love the most in the world it's not right Haley also responded to the hate by saying I usually stay quiet and don't acknowledge these things but I need to protect myself and my mental health but it's truly gotten to a level of anger and hate that is shockingly unhealthy and sad number four rumors have you noticed recently that Justin Bieber has been appearing in photos dressed in weird outfits while Haley on the other hand seems to put more into her public appearance recently the star has been spotted wearing a crochet blanket out on a sushi day with his wife and let's not forget the time when he was in Japan he also opted to wear this really weird dark brown bob styled wig and sunnies while he was out with his wife so people wouldn't recognize him while some of the stars choices to wear disguises seem weird especially since his wife is dressing to the nines beside him it's clear Haley is still young hot and clearly cares about her image as she puts a lot of effort into everything she wears to events or to go on simple dates with Justin so she may want someone who puts a little more effort into the way they look and this could put a lot of stress on Justin as imagine getting all dolled up to go to an event and your husband looks like he just rolled out of bed can't pair a tote bag with a designer gown I'll tell you that number three no children back in 2021 Justin would reveal that he told Haley he was ready to have children while Justin previously said he thinks it's up to Haley to decide when she's ready to have children because it is her body he's been pushing more lately for the pair to start a family as he wants a little tribe of little Justin's running around the house however back in February 2022 Haley would open up to why she just isn't ready to have kids yet and it's mainly because of her hectic schedule while Haley is focusing on her new skincare brand Justin is also touring until March 2023 Haley also addressed the societal pressures women have about having children and she said there's this thing that happens for women when you get married everybody always assumes it's first comes love then comes marriage then comes the baby but instead Haley wants to prioritize growing her business and while she doesn't want to have kids at a young age this could cause Justin to pull away as he's at the point where he is ready to have a family number two hot water back in 2020 Haley would find herself in a pretty sticky situation after she was accused of being a racist by one of Justin's fans this would then send the internet into a frenzy as they soon started drawing their attention to some of her previous tweets the model isn't a stranger to backlash over her tweets as she's received some backlash for some of the controversial messages she has posted on social media in the past including one that has addressed foreigners the drama all started when one fan called out Justin claiming that he married Haley to get back at his ex Selena Gomez and the commenter also implied Haley was racist when pe and then when people started to investigate the truth they pulled up several concerning tweets first tweet would raise some eyebrows when the model tweeted back in 2012 shut up or I smack you back to your own country and the worst part is the tweet still hasn't been deleted then in January 2013 the model posted another questionable message when she said oh are you so tired of it well let me remind you this is a free country America baby and to put the cherry on top of things shortly after she would then tweet to those foreigners who don't celebrate Thanksgiving so sorry your country didn't have pilgrims and Indians to start such a sick holiday and I just feel bad for reading that but imagine being married to someone who doesn't even understand how hurtful these words can be to someone and even choose after being called out to keep the hate online and coming in number one today we have her bland personality besides being a model the only thing really interesting about Haley Bieber is that she is married to Justin Bieber and if it wasn't for her dad and uncle being famous actors she probably would have never become famous in the first place even when Haley went on the call her daddy podcast fans would find the general interview pointless as Haley didn't really share any new information and she kept repeating herself in different ways even one person on reddit pointed out that Haley said a whole lot of nothing over and over again and another fan would say I hated the interview I'm sorry nothing against Haley but I just didn't feel like I learned anything or felt connection like why come on a podcast if you don't want to do it interesting timing too with Selena's documentary but I'm neutral in regards to everyone it just seems like Haley is only interesting at 
this time thanks to her husband, and she knows it too. Starting off our list at number 10 today, we have Justin Bieber still loves Selena. So imagine being married to a guy that still loves his ex. How would you feel? Well, if you were Haley Bieber, you'd probably be thinking after her latest Mean Girl move that her relationship is completely over with Justin Bieber. Let's face it, Canadians are nice and we don't stand Mean Girls. Since Justin got married to Haley, he hasn't felt whole, and it came to the point after Selena was hospitalized that he thought he made a huge mistake when it came to his marriage with Haley. An inside source would then reveal that Justin still loves Selena as she was his first great love, and while he was young and traveling around the world as a superstar, he learned a great deal from Selena. Even during his honeymoon with Haley, all he could do was think about Selena, and this is why Haley and Justin are in therapy to help their marriage because they both know they made a mistake, but Haley just doesn't want to lose Justin to Selena. Number nine, the eyebrows. When Selena recently posted a video on her TikTok page, she would say, I accidentally laminated my eyebrows too much to the point Kylie Jenner would then find herself in the middle of Haley's and Selena's feud after she posted a photo on her Instagram story writing, This was an accident. On top of her own laminated brows. And not going to lie, the timing was just pretty questionable considering that Selena shared a video on her TikTok just a few hours before. And adding more fuel to the fire, Kylie then went on to share a screenshot of a FaceTime call with Haley where they both showed their eyebrows for the camera. But Kylie quickly went on to deny the fact that she helped mock Selena with Haley after she noticed her followers were declining on her social media platforms by saying, this is reaching no shades towards Selena ever. I didn't see her eyebrow post. You guys are making something out of nothing. This is silly. Clearly, Selena just didn't want to step on the biggest family in Hollywood's heels, so she obviously went on to agree with Kylie and went on to say, Agreed, Kylie Jenner, it's all unnecessary. I'm a fan of Kylie. But it's clear Kylie and Haley were both making fun of Selena, which is sad to see. And there's a reason why they're losing millions of followers today. Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You know, subscribe to the channel. All, jumping back into the list at the number eight spot, we have Selena's body. So back in January, Haley posted a TikTok video, which her friends Kendall Jenner and Justine Sky were in, and you could see them all mouthing the words. I'm not saying she deserved it, but God's timing is always right. Haley was then quick to delete the video after fans commented, saying her post was clearly directed at Selena. After Selena was hit with body shaming comments on a bikini photo she posted, so. It makes us wonder if Haley, did you hate Selena's bikini picture because Justin liked it? And while Haley said she never comments on things like body shaming, she then tried to clarify why the post that she deleted was deleted and said the post was just a random TikTok sound that the group did for fun and that it wasn't directed at anyone. However, it's kind of hard to believe because the way Kendall went on to sip her drink made it clear that it was directed at someone because let's face the fact, the Kardashians aren't good actors and neither is Haley. At the end of the day, Selena seemed unbothered by the mean post as she went on to say, okay, I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone. Number seven. Taylor Swift. After the whole eyebrow ordeal, the whole world started to wonder what happened that made Haley randomly turn into a mean girl. But the truth is, the star has always been a mean girl, and we all just didn't realize it until now. After Selena came across a resurfaced video of Haley seemingly targeting her best friend, Taylor Swift, in the clip, Haley could be seen co hosting Drop the Mic with Method Man. After the rapper says, in a one on one battle full of the meanest lyrics, about a celebrity since Taylor Swift's last album, the model could be seen sticking her fingers in her mouth and making a gagging notion. In the comment section, Selena then quickly came to Taylor's defense, commenting, So sorry, my best friend is and continues to be one of the best. That one definitely had to make Haley a little salty, as it's clear she only hates Selena's inner circle because she wants to be the next Selena Gomez, but who doesn't? Number six, talent. While Haley may be a model, it seems like she was only only able to make a name for herself because she comes from a talented family. But when it comes to talent herself, she's been having a little bit of a hard time when it comes to booking runways and she blames it on a casting director who shook her confidence on the runway. While the model doesn't feel like putting herself into a position to feel small on the runway, it's not her first time that she would talk about feeling low as in 2019. She opened up in an Instagram post when she said, I'm insecure, I'm fragile, I'm hurting, I have fears, I have doubts, I have anxiety. 
anxiety, I get sad. It seems like the reason Haley hates Selena so much is even when Selena is down, she still managed to continue on with her career and come out on top. While Haley may be more focused on her own skincare line, it's just clear she doesn't have the power to stay on top without her husband's name. And that's why she's sinking to the low level of taking other women down because she finds them a threat. Number five, nice girl. Since the beginning, Selena has always remained true to herself. And she's always come across to be this kind hearted individual who cares about the well being of those around her. And she's used her platform to speak out about issues that truly matter. Her actions over the tears tell us more about her personality than a simple test ever could. Even if you look at photos of the star since she was small, she's always seen holding her head high with an inviting smile. But Haley, on the other hand, doesn't have a clean cut image like Selena. While Selena's fans claim that she's actually sweet and inviting, Haley won't even give her fans the time of day. Selena is also praised for her manners when she's out in public. But Haley, on the other hand, has been called out for the way she treats others, especially servers. It's clear that even fans have been comparing the two girls' manners, and while Selena comes across as a nice girl, it's clear Haley has always been this mean girl. Also, have you ever noticed, usually Justin protects his wife in these sort of situations, but this time, he's been pretty quiet, and it's clear he's letting Haley dig herself out of her own hole this time around. Number four, too mature for games. Just after Selena left the comment on Haley's resurfaced video of her making fun of Taylor Swift, Selena announced her plans to take a break from social media by saying, I'm gonna be taking a second from social media because it's this is a little silly and I'm 30, I'm too old for this. She then went on to delete her TikTok account. While Selena is known to take breaks from social media every now and then, as of early February, she revealed in an interview with Vanity Fair that she was really fond of TikTok and it was the only app she currently had on her phone because she found it to be less hostile. She would also say there are wonderful things about social media, like connecting with her fans and seeing how excited they are and seeing their stories. But today, Selena has her assistant upload photos for her. While Selena is too old to play games with Mean Girls of Hollywood, it seems like Hailey Bieber isn't over this phase just yet, and she's doing everything she can to get a rise out of Selena, and while Selena has definitely chosen to take the higher route and not succumb to what everyone's trying to draw out of her, it probably is why she's become Hailey's number one target. Number three, dream life. Following the reignition of their ongoing feud, Selena's fans have been quick to dive into signs that they can use against Hailey. Fans are now starting to believe that Haley has been copying Selena for years. And now several TikTok videos have been made where fans have pointed out things they believe aren't just coincidences and it's clear that Haley was so obsessed with Justin Bieber at a young age, she wanted to become the next Selena Gomez. As an example, in one of the clips, Selena said in an interview she wished more people knew her heart. Then when Haley showed up to do an interview with Jimmy Fallon, she said the exact same thing. The same thing appeared to be true when Selena said she was a huge Britney Spears fan, and Haley went on to echo a similar sentiment. Another TikTok video has also pointed out the similarities between Selena Gomez and Haley's cooking show when Gomez launched Selena and Chef on HBO Max in 2020. Two years later, Haley launched What's in My Kitchen on YouTube. The viral clip points out the likeness between the two cooking shows, which also captured Haley saying, Okay, okie dokie, which is a phrase Selena's known for saying on her own show. Also, it seems like Haley has also copied Selena's beauty line to a T, so copycat much? Number two, Justin's mom still loves Selena. Just when you thought all this Haley Bieber and Selena Gomez drama couldn't get any worse, the drama has definitely reached its peak, as it now appears like Justin's mom has entered the chat. On top of Patty tweeting, hate is ugly, don't be ugly, Twitter fans have also claimed, she liked and unliked a comment about Selena taking a break from her social media accounts. It's clear that Justin's mom is on Selena's side in this situation as Selena has chosen to take the high road during the height of all this drama as she's remained unbothered by all of Haley and her friends hate. On top of the hate, Selena has also taken the time to tell her fans that she does love them for choosing to call out those who are being mean girls and who are on a mission to bring the singer down. And coming in at number one today, we have the home wrecker. During an appearance on the podcast Call Her Daddy, Haley would clarify the notion that she stole Justin from Selena as she explained that she never interfered with their relationship. The whole claim just seemed a little sus though because it came out of nowhere and it just came out days before Selena's documentary was released. In the interview, Haley would say, when he and I ever started like hooking up or like anything of that sort, he was not 
ever in a relationship ever at any point. She then told podcast host Alex Cooper, it's not my character to mess with someone's relationship. I would just never do that. I'm not interested in doing that and I never was. But just because she didn't take him away from a relationship doesn't mean that she didn't take advantage of Justin's situation. For Justin was with Haley just six months prior, he was still with Selena. And during this period, Justin was in a pretty vulnerable place. Haley made him believe that being married would fix all his problems and when it didn't, he started to realize maybe he married the wrong person. Starting off with number six, we have Selena Gomez. Obviously Haley Bieber and Selena Gomez have tons of tension considering they both seriously dated Justin Bieber, with them even allegedly overlapping at times. One of the worst feuds between them was when Selena dropped her song, Lose You To Love Me. That was very clearly about Justin, with some of the lyrics of that song reading, quote, you turned me down and now it's showing. In two months, you replaced us like it was easy. Which is exactly what happened when Haley and Justin got back together only months after him and Selena breaking up. But things got messy when Haley decided to post a picture of a song to her Instagram story called I'll Kill You. And fans couldn't help but point out that she posted it right after Selena released her song that was about Justin. Then Just Jared made a post saying that the song post on Haley's story was her comment on things with Selena. But then Haley responded back that her posting on the song was not a response to Selena whatsoever. Then later that night, Selena went on Instagram Live to talk about the song, and she decided to take a moment to express that she does not condone putting women against each other, which is definitely responding to the Haley situation. The women ended up working it out, but if Haley did post the song in response to Selena, it does show the kind of mean girl that she can be. And at number five, Taylor Swift fan. Haley has a very bad habit of responding to comments from trolls online, and she got into some drama when she did so with a Taylor Swift stan. It all started with Taylor going on Jimmy Fallon and showing a funny video she took after she got LASIK eye surgery where she cries over a banana. And everyone thought it was so funny that Justin Bieber decided to reenact the video in one of Haley's Instagram lives. But people didn't appreciate the reenactment and thought Justin was making fun of Taylor. So then Taylor Stan started dragging Justin and Haley online. One Twitter user even shared a video of someone roasting Haley's modeling career with the caption of that reading, quote, if I could emphasize a video a thousand times over, I would. And Haley ended up finding that tweet and doing something that celebrities should never do, and that's responding back to the hate. She tweeted back, quote, I never knew I could make somebody so upset. Truly, I'm so sorry you're this upset. Lord have mercy, I hope I'm never this upset about someone I don't know. And over the span of an hour, Haley actually tweeted the user two more times, proving she cannot handle criticism well. The Swifty fan ended up responding by saying back, quote, this is proof that she doesn't have a job. Haley stands come for me, but she legit sits on Twitter and attacks Taylor Stan accounts like literally go to McDonald's. And that's really why you never engage with Twitter stands because I swear like they will just always win. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Stands always reign supreme. And at number four, Haley was a bully. One TikTok user participated in a TikTok trend where you expose people or bad things from your past, and in the process, she exposed that Haley Bieber was allegedly her high school bully, saying in the TikTok, quote, you think you can bully me? Haley Bieber was my middle school bully. With the caption saying, quote, I'm sure she's a nice person now, right? The comments of the video were mixed, so the user posted some follow-up videos explaining things further. The next video showed a video where Haley says in an interview that she went to middle school with the Jonas Brothers not proving anything further about her even going to school with this random girl. So the girl then made another video responding to the backlash on that video with people telling her to show pictures or say a story time about it or you know some more proof. With the user coming on again saying that she doesn't have any story times, then saying she was in fifth grade and Haley was in sixth and she bullied her that year. Then saying she doesn't want an apology or clout, she just said it because it's a fun fact she says a lot. And since this user didn't post more proof, it's definitely hard to believe her, but Haley has been accused of mean girl behavior in the past, so I mean, there is a possibility it could be true. And at number three, New York City Hostess. One TikTok user who was a hostess at a popular New York City bar took the opportunity to shade some of the rudest celebrities she had ever met while working there. One of those rude celebrities was none other than Haley Baldwin. When talking about Haley, she said, quote, this is gonna be controversial. I've met her a handful of times and every time she was not nice. I really wanna like her, but I have to give her like a 3.5 out of 10, sorry. 
And even though Haley was not the only rude celebrity mentioned, she decided to apologize to the user by writing in the comments of that video, quote, just came across this video and wanted to say sorry if I've ever given you bad vibes or a bad attitude. That's never my intention. Hate hearing that was your experience with me, but glad you called me out so I can do better. Hopefully we meet again so I can apologize in person. And then the TikTok user responded thanking her for being accountable and taking the time to apologize. Not sure if this means Haley was sincerely sorry or if she just didn't want the bad PR, even though her commenting on the post is really what blew it up in the first place. And at number two, Dr. Daniel Barrett. A plastic surgeon who has gone viral from his videos talking about celebrity plastic surgeries got in some major hot water after he made a video about Hailey Bieber. In the viral TikTok, he compared pictures of Hailey then versus now and pointed out what he thought was different, saying that TikTok, quote, pay special attention to her nose. What do you think? Well, I'll tell you what I think. I think it's physically impossible with getting a little bit of help from someone like myself to go from this picture to that picture. Adding that he thinks that she had a rhinoplasty as well as jawline contouring, skin tightening, lip filler, and a chin implant. But after the video was posted, the doctor was promptly sued by Haley and Justin. Haley claimed the doctor was using her name and likeness in the video and was promoting lies. While Justin sued because the caption of the video was, quote, is it too late now to say sorry? Which is, you know, obviously a play on Justin's song, Sorry. With the legal documents saying that Dr. Barrett was using copyright protected lyrics, which is so ridiculous. Literally everyone uses song lyrics as their captions. Like I didn't even know you could sue for that. The couple also reportedly sent him a cease and desist letter to take the video down. But because he did nothing wrong, it hasn't been taken down, thankfully, because that would be so ridiculous if he had to take that down. It's literally just his opinion. Anyway. And finally, number one, Instagram exposing surgeries. Yet another example of Haley shutting down plastic surgery rumors. An Instagram account posted a picture of young Haley versus now, where there does look to be some changes with her face, with the user questioning if Haley had cosmetic enhancements or not. But Haley, for some reason, cannot stand when people speculate about her getting fillers or any sort of plastic surgery. So she clapped back in the comments of that post, writing, quote, stop using pics that are edited by makeup artists. This photo on the right is not what I look like. I've never touched my face. So if you're gonna sit around and compare me at 13 and then me at 23, at least use a natural photo that wasn't edited so crazy. And number 10, we have trying to dress up. Recently, Justin Bieber was spotted on a tour while visiting Tokyo. However, the star looked different. Then what fans were used to seeing? In the pictures circulating on social media, the singer can be seen wearing a wig. With the accessory, he's also seen wearing sunglasses, jeans, and a light fur coat. Justin's level of disguise has definitely been causing a stir on the internet, with some fans even pointing out they wouldn't have even realized it was him if it wasn't pointed out. Other fans have even gone to say, oh, spare us, Justin, it's already starting to look like a pattern. And wow, he really doesn't want to be recognized, does he? And to add a cherry on top of Justin's odd behavior, one fan would even pick fun at the pop star by saying, what a great idea to walk next to Haley, just so no one would recognize her. Well, it's safe to say that Justin probably should work on upping his level of disguise because this definitely did not work. And number nine, abandoning a monkey in a foreign country. After Justin's pet monkey, Mally, was seized by the German officials. When the singer was trying to bring the animal into the country without permission, during a stop on his Believe tour, it said that Justin didn't have some proper paperwork, so the authorities seized the monkey and quarantined it at the airport. However, the monkey would later become property of Germany, and Justin would later be sent a bill of $1,500 after he decided to abandon his monkey in the the country. Mali is currently living with a group of other monkeys in a wildlife refugee in North Germany, and Bieber still owes Germany's Federal Agency of Nature Conservation $11,000 for vaccinations and rehoming fees. Which is truly disappointing. This was your pet and you left him behind, you didn't even try to get him back. This was definitely a red flag and it showed that the star isn't someone we thought he was, and we really should have noticed. And number eight, ordered his bodyguards to carry carry him. When visiting China, you have to visit the Great Wall. That's just a given. However, Justin Bieber's visit would definitely highlight one giant red flag that many of us missed. When visiting the wall, photos of Justin would soon circulate online, showing Justin being hoisted on top of his bodyguard's shoulders, 
like they were his minions, and they even carried him up the Great Wall of China. Now, Justin was definitely able to walk up the wall himself, as just before his adventure, he was spotted skateboarding around town as two of his security guard members jogged behind him. It was definitely a diva like move that none of us could get over, and it was a shame to see the star deprived himself of a chance to experience the experience and made his security team do the hard work for him. And number seven, banned for life from a skydiving facility. Las Vegas Indoor Skydiving confirmed back in 2013 that Justin Bieber would be banned for life after he used the facility and then backed out of a payment deal he arranged with the company. Justin and six of his entourage members would arrive to the facility just before it closed. When the pop star was approached about a payment method, he was apparently given the option of shelling out $1,600 for himself and his crew or posting a shout out of the facility and a photo of himself mid-flight to his Instagram account. Justin at the time reportedly agreed to post a photo as payment, but the company never got their $1,600 worth of publicity and they would say he actually faked like he was posting something. As per the agreement, it never actually happened. In addition to not paying, the group also didn't tip the staff even after they stayed late to accommodate their needs. And number six, ignored pilots. In 2014, CNN would report that Justin and his father allegedly refused a pilot's warning to stop smoking during a flight from Canada to New Jersey. Law enforcement officials would later give details that the flight crew on the charter jet told the federal officials after they ferried Justin and his entourage to New Jersey. The smoke was so strong in the cabin that the flight crew members even had to put on oxygen masks because they were concerned that they would inhale so much of it, it would cause their test to say that they were positive for being under the influence. When the pilots asked the group to stop, Bieber and his father would begin to have some words with the crew, which would result in the pilots in attendance to close the cockpit to avoid contact with the group. When they landed, Justin would be granted re-entry into the United States after a search of the charter plane was done by federal officials. They did detect smoke smell, but they never found any signs of substances. And number five, his dreadlock phase. Justin doesn't do too well with apologies. We all know that. When the singer debuted his dreadlocks, he sparked some major controversy as fans started to accuse the star of cultural appropriation and white privilege. With fans calling out Justin for not being himself, many stated that the star could have done better. One fan even chimed in by saying, it's really disappointed to see you with dreads. I thought you educated yourself. The star then decided to stick with his dreadlocks and refused to respond to the backlash he was receiving by fans. Instead, he decided to share a statement about acknowledging insecurities by saying, aren't we all broken? We can hide behind superficial things, but the truth is, we're all hurting. So what's your opinion on celebrities trying to rock braids and dreadlocks? And let me know in the comments below. And number four, he talked about becoming the next Michael Jackson. In an interview done back in 2012, Justin Bieber would make it clear that he wants to be nothing less than the next Michael Jackson, the new king of pop, after he would go on to say that, that's where I want to be. I don't want to just be a heartthrob teen. Now when someone starts saying that they want to be the next anyone, it should be a giant red flag, especially when they're trying to say they want to be the next Michael Jackson because no one will ever be the next Michael Jackson, that's just a given. Bieber would go on to borrow machine-like dance moves, glitter gloves, and he even copied Michael's signature move in like a gentle way, I guess. This would definitely become a major red flag and we were missing it because he was trying so hard to be someone he's not rather than just being himself and allowing his fans to appreciate who he really is. And number three, running around town in his undergarments. In 2020, Justin would be pictured running around downtown LA in his Calvin Klein briefs after shooting a music video all night. When photos started circulating online, it would show the star wearing nothing but briefs as he raised his arm above his head and smiled as he walked towards his trailer. And this wasn't the first time Justin's been spotted in public wearing nothing but his briefs, because back in 2018, it would seem like Justin forgot his bathing suit while on a trip to Miami after he was pictured out for a little dip wearing nothing but his white briefs. In the photos, Justin could be seen hanging out with his friends by the resort pool, wearing nothing but a wet pair of Kelvin Klein boxer briefs before wrapping himself in a white towel before things became too revealing. Him and Haley would also be pictured later on in a hot tub as fans would call for the star to put on some clothes. And at number two, we have meeting Stephen Harper in overalls. 
So back when Stephen Harper was still the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin had the chance to meet him back in 2012. However, his outfit choice was definitely interesting. When the singer stepped out in overalls to accept a diamond jubilee medal from Stephen Harper, he would go on to tweet, I met the Prime Minister in overalls, lol. Justin would later try to justify why he opted to wear overalls to such an event by saying, It wasn't like I was going to his environment, we were at a hockey arena. And while he may have been at a hockey arena, he was receiving such a high class award that it was only given to Canadians who earned achievements abroad. And he wore overalls to collect this achievement. Now, 50 years ago, if you pulled this move while going into work, they would have sent you home. So a lot of people were judging Beaver's decision to wear the overalls and his excuse to trying to stay true to his fans and his own vibe, it was pretty weak. And at number one today, we have showing up late for shows. In 2013, Justin Bieber would be two hours late for a concert because he was playing video games and threw a tantrum. When Justin was set to perform at O2, he would end up being two hours late after throwing a massive tantrum and telling his staff that it was his gig and he would go out when he wanted to. After waking up late due to a night out, Justin would proceed to lock himself in a dressing room to play computer games. After, his actions would cause hundreds of teenage fans to be upset because they would have to leave to catch last trains before even getting the chance to see their idol perform. Justin would later come out to say he was only 40 minutes late and he said he had to come on late due to technical difficulties. He then highlighted that the event was great. However, one O2 worker would come out to say that wasn't the case and the star was actually backstage arguing with his management team. Justin's mentality about being a star that can do whatever Whatever he wanted that night was definitely a red flag that no one really noticed. Starting off this countdown, we have Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen went after Bieber, a fellow Canadian, during an interview with Howard Stern. He said, and I quote, Bieber is a good example of someone who you meet and you think you're gonna hate him and then you get to hate him as much as you thought. Yikes, what did Bieber do to him? Well, apparently the two first met at a German talk show when Justin asked if they could meet. They did, but then apparently Justin acted like Seth was the one that wanted to meet him. He said, it was very weird. He said, and I quote, what the F? I don't want to meet you. Don't act all non plus to meet me. I didn't want to meet you. I was totally cool not meeting you, but I was like, fine. I wouldn't have said anything. I was like, he's a bit of a mother effer, whatever. He's young, the kid's a dick. That's right, folks, Seth Rogen called Justin Bieber a dick. In our ninth spot, we have Kate Moss. In 2014, Bieber and Orlando Bloom got in a heated argument at a nightclub. I'll talk about that more in depth later, but it resulted in the two taking swings at each other. Well, a few days later after the incident, Justin Bieber approached Kate Moss and she was not too thrilled about it. She apparently went off at him, telling him that he needs to behave and smarten up. Apparently, Justin had gone up to her expecting her to gush all over him and instead she really just gave it to him which is pretty embarrassing if you ask me coming in at number eight we have marg helgenberger back from 2010 to 2011 justin bieber made an appearance on the show csi playing serial killer jason mccann well according to csi actress marg helgenberger justin bieber acted like a brat on set not only that but according to her he locked one of the producers in a closet and also just put his fist through a cake that was on the table. Imagine that, just wanting a slice of cake and then Justin Bieber just goes BAM! Coming in at number seven, we have Team USA and Team Canada. Imagine having two Olympic hockey teams against you. That's wild. In 2014, the two teams squared off for the Olympic hockey semifinals, during which there was a billboard present that said, loser keeps Bieber. Now, as some of you may know, Bieber was born and raised in Canada, but currently lives in America. Imagine having a whole hockey team trying to get rid of you, just like not wanting to claim you. That's the definition of awkward. In our sixth spot, we have Ronda Rousey. It's so random how all these celebrities just hate Justin Bieber. Like out of all people to piss off, a UFC star? I don't know. Basically, Rousey admitted to Cosmopolitan that he was rude to her little sister at the Cannes Film Festival. Apparently she tried to get him to take a pic with her little sister who was a huge fan and totally starstruck. And he declined saying, and I quote, I've already taken a billion pictures today. Okay, imagine how that little girl must have felt. Like there's her idol and he just shuts her down because he took too many photos. Rhonda later said, yeah, I don't think I'd wanna hang out with him. I'm not a believer. I was, but not anymore. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with John Bon Jovi. 
Jon Bon Jovi had a lot to say about Bieber when he heard that he showed up 80 minutes late to his show in London. He said, and I quote, every generation has guys that do that. None of that is new. Do it once, you can be forgiven. Do it enough times and shame on you. They won't have you back. Then it becomes a cliche. It's really not cool. You're an a-hole. Go to effing work. So Bon Jovi did not hold back on that one, but someone had to say it. Bieber definitely let his fame get to his head at one point and that led to him acting all entitled. In our fourth spot today, we have Selena Gomez. Of course, she had to be on this list. The two were in an on and off again relationship for quite some time and fans left them together. In fact, many people thought that they were endgame, but as we later found out, their relationship was not the healthiest. After their final breakup in 2018, Selena Gomez revealed that the relationship consisted of emotional abuse and he had really hurt her and it took her a while to grow out of the victim mentality. Moving on to number three, we have Orlando Bloom. All right, this is probably the one that you all have been waiting for. Orlando Bloom and Justin Bieber definitely do not like each other. Maybe things have changed with time, but for quite a while, they did not like each other. It all started when rumors began to fly about Bieber getting close to Bloom's ex-wife, Miranda Kerr. Some even said that the two hooked up. Then Bieber's ex, Selena Gomez, was spotted with Orlando Bloom, and apparently the two made out. When Bieber and Bloom encountered each other, apparently Bieber made some comments about Miranda Kerr, which Bloom did not like, and at that point, he jumped over a sofa and lunged at Bieber. Then apparently punches were thrown, but they were never landed. And then apparently Leonardo DiCaprio DiCaprio was just present and witnessed this whole fight and was cheering for Bloom. Like, that's just wild. <laughs> Coming in at number two, we have Eminem. Eminem decided to show his disdain for Bieber by including him in his song, A Kiss. He talks about God not giving a damn about Justin Bieber. That's the he he's referring to in the song. So the lyrics go, he's allergic to divas. He'd take meat cleavers to him. He don't give a damn about Bieber doing. What a demon, a behemoth, evil just seems to be seething through him. Okay, Eminem, okay. And in our number one spot today, we have Bill Hader. I honestly can't imagine this guy having drama with anyone. But alas, Justin hosted Saturday Night Live one time and Bill had a lot to say about it. Apparently, Bieber showed up with a 20 person team to set. He said, and I quote, he had a guy holding a piece of pizza, a guy holding a Diet Coke, and going around stage, you're trying to fight through all these people to get dressed. A year later, in another interview, he said, and I quote, I really didn't enjoy having Justin Bieber around. He's the only one who lived up to the reputation. I think that's the only time I felt that way in eight years. That is insane. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below. Are you a believer? Did you used to be a believer? I feel like there was a, a one, there was one time where I was like, oh my God, he's so cute. Or like anyone with a Justin Bieber haircut. I was like, oh, let's never bring that haircut back, please.